Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. So for those who's new, my name is Christian and in today's video, we are doing a houseplant shopping challenge vlog style. So I need to go to a few big box stores because I need to grab a few household items, uh, Ikea, Home Depot, and Walmart. And I figured, you know what, let's go ahead and check out their plant section because obviously, you know, you can't help but check out their plant section whenever there is a place you go to that happens to sell plants. So uh, I actually have gotten a few of my best plants from big box stores like my Monstera from Walmart or my Ponytail Palm and ZZ Plant from Ikea or my Ficus Tineki and Ficus Benjamina from uh, Home Depot. So, you know, I won't be surprised if I find any good plants, but at the same time, I also won't be surprised if there aren't any plants I like. To make it a little bit more fun, I'm actually going to uh, put a little bit of a budget today. So the max I want to spend is I think $40 before taxes on plants. So the goal is to obviously spend less than that or under it, which means I pass this challenge. But if I go over it, even by a cent, I failed this challenge. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Comment below right now. Do you think I will pass or fail this challenge? I'm gonna bet on myself and say, I think I'm gonna pass this challenge. I really think I'm gonna pass. You know, I have confidence and uh, discipline right now to control myself, but uh, we'll see. So uh, let's get going. Alright guys, so we're here at Ikea and it doesn't open for another 25 minutes. I figured we'd get here early because, you know, it, they just kind of recently opened up last week and I figured a lot of people would be waiting in line and there already is starting to line up there. So uh, we are still practicing physical distancing here in Toronto. So I do got my mask with me and I don't have any gloves, but I do got my portable uh, hand sanitizer. Uh, so obviously you want to respect the process still. And uh, yes, I'm looking for uh, um, plant shelves for my outdoor terrace. I want to be able to kind of raise the, uh, the plant I have but also use those shelving for you know, any of my uh, pot, pots or any of the equipment I use to uh, garden outside and uh, then we're gonna check out their plant section so uh, let's go ahead and do that all right guys so we're at Ikea and uh, we went to the plant section first I'm gonna look for my shelves but uh, I'm a little disappointed I'll show you guys so I don't see any live plants very very small but i see a lot of fake plants look at this uh medallion like look each to their own but uh i mean it does look perfect and nice from a pattern perspective but it's fake plants it's made out of plastic not sustainable not cool in my opinion but uh curious to know what you guys think when it comes to uh fake plants so look at this fiddly fig i think i just saw monstera somewhere yeah, they got all this stuff right here. Look at this. <laughs> Where's the real plants? I don't even know where the real plants are. Oh, they're over here. So we got a lot of aloes and succulents. Ooh. This is kind of cute. Got like a set there. Uh, some jade plants. Uh, we got some of these. What are these called? Uh, dracenas? Yeah, our mini dracenas. So lots of succulents. Look at that cacti. Um, okay. And also got over here. Oh, there's an Akivara. And some more succulents. A lot of cacti. Okay. This side, you got this uh, jade plant. Ooh, a palancholy. Haven't seen one of those in a while. I like them because of their uh, beautiful flowers and uh, fairly easy to care for. A peace lily. So I know you guys always say peace lilies are easy to care for. I never own one, but maybe I should consider getting one. Some 
protons, a pothos, peperomia, that doesn't look too good, and some succulents. Alrighty, so calico -y. I think that's about it. I'm a little disappointed. $12.99 for a 6 inch peace lily. It's actually pretty nice. It's full. I don't have a peace lily. So this is the hard part because we still got two more stores to check out. I don't know if I want to spend here and save it for in case we find something. I mean, it's a peace lily. Mm. I really do like these uh, cacti though. You know, I, do, I don't have many cacti and I think it'd be cool to kind of start collecting them. So this is a, a cool set. How much is this? It already comes with a container. Um, I don't know how much it is. That's the one thing about cacti. That one right there looks like a uh, a male body part. <laughs> and uh, yeah, maybe, this is kind of cool. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll take this. I see her bringing some more uh, fresh plants over there. So I'm gonna wait till she plays them. It looks like they're just restocking. That's why it looked empty earlier. So I'm gonna wait here a bit. Maybe there's some more that, because uh, I see all those like marble cream pothos that's fresh over there. So let's go check it out later. These, um, marble queen but look how white this variegation is that's pretty awesome i don't even know if this is a marble queen i mean it almost looks like an album is there such a thing like an album pothos because this is pretty i just want to get because of how white this variegation is you know what i'm gonna get one i'm gonna get one of these look at that look how white that is it's crazy okay let's look for even that white speckle, that's pretty cool. These guys, so... Yeah, I've never seen a... Uh, a pothos that's... Uh, this is a marble queen for sure, that's this like white... It's usually more of like the yellow tones. Uh, like a tie, but... This is pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna grab one. Just trying to find a good one. Like, look at that. Look how white that is. It's crazy. So, even these guys. Okay, I'm gonna look back here. <laughs> she hasn't even put this out on the shelf yet. Kind of just attacked it, but that's okay. I'm sure she gets a lot of crazy plant people at Ikea. See, look at that, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I think I wanna get this. Look how white that is. Or this one, what do you guys think? And again, this is the hard part when it comes to uh, choosing plants of uh, the same one. I often look for new growth. So let's look at this one. Yeah, there's new growth right there, which is great. Let's look at the base. Pretty healthy. Ooh, I don't like that. Is that like... Yeah, so there you go. You guys see that there? That spider mites right there. You see that webbing? So this isn't good. Damn it, this isn't good. I gotta like... Yeah, there's spider mites for this one. So... I'm not gonna take that one. Let's check this one. Oh man, I'm so sad. Let's look for me this one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this one's a. Uh, a little bit tied and it's hard because I'm using one hand here. So let's just... Okay, you know what we're gonna do? It looks like all of them have... That's the problem with when you find one that has issues, chances are all of them have issues. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to uh, quarantine this guy when we uh, bring him home and then uh, spray the hell out of him. So. Um, thing I'm gonna do is I like this guy. Okay, we are going to let's take this one. Mm, maybe let's just take this one. <laughs> uh, so hard to pick sometimes. You know what? Let's just go. Let's go with this one. I think we'll go with this one. Uh, this is the one that I didn't see any spider mites on, but you still, you still gotta. I'm gonna treat this guy. It's just 
was close to one and let's see. How's all these like variation? Oh, it's kind of dead though. Oh, okay, maybe this one. And this one has a lot of new growth. Look at that. Okay, why don't we take this one? Yeah, I like this one. Because then it has kind of that new growth right there. And if they don't look dead, so we'll go with this one. Okay, we'll help her out there and put some of these guys back. Um, do you know how much these are? Yeah, I think they're $4.99. Okay, great, thank you. Okay, they're $4.99, so I might take both of them. I might take two. Should I make two? No, we'll save some room for what else we find. Look at all that white out. Okay, so hard. You know what? All right, we're gonna go with this one. Yeah, we're gonna go with this one. This guy, we're gonna go with this guy. Okay, we're gonna go with both of these. So this is ten dollars plus my cacti takes us to uh, twenty-five bucks. All right, so now let's go find my plant shelf, and uh, we'll save some money for Home Depot and see what they got going on there. All right, guys. So we just finished at uh, IKEA, and I ended up getting my plant shelf, uh, two of them, and then uh, I walked away with uh, the cacti set. Uh, for $14.99 and then the uh, pothos I ended up just getting one of them it was only $3.99 so that's about what $18.98 and uh, so that leaves us a bit more room to obviously check out Home Depot and Walmart but I didn't want to bring any more even though I like the Marble Queen pothos Marble Queen slash Alba will figure it out because it had spider mice I just didn't want to risk like you know bringing them in the home so we're gonna have to like uh, treat them once we get home and I'll kind of go through my process and how I go about doing that uh, but yeah for now let's head out to uh, Home Depot and see what they got going on there all right guys so they got a lot of plants a lot more than Ikea look at all their Daikin Bossia for like three uh, dollars so my first Daikin Bossia I think was also from Home Depot and they got all these like uh, Dracinas Marginata I think so for three dollars as well too Cheap. And they also got these uh, Marble Queen Pothos. Also has that kind of white color as well, but uh, not as like white as I saw. But they probably there's probably don't have any like spider mites, so uh, we'll see. But I've been seeing these guys around. What is this guy? So they like half shade to sunny position. Maybe I might get some of these for the outside. Kind of cool. What are they called again? Uh, Calla Lily? Huh, okay. How much are these guys? Okay, let me find out how much they are first. A lot more Cal and Chloe's here. Yeah, look how vibrant their colors are. Hmm. They're five bucks, so maybe I'll grab one. We got a money tree here. Got 13 bucks. And then all those orchids. A peperomia. Snake plant over there. I think this one's a Peperomia Pixie. I'm pretty sure this is a Peperomia Pixie. Uh, some roses, some ivies. I think this is a fern. No. What is this guy? Yeah, it's a fern. Some snake plants. Some Calathias. Mm. We got all these succulents, the Archivaras. Look at these guys. Some aloes. These are like three bucks each, so. The J plant right there. This guy's pretty cool. Oh wow, I like this guy. Huh, interesting. I really like that guy. Some cacti. And some orchids. And some snake plants. Okay, 
So this guy does look cool. <laughs> I like this one. Huh. For four dollars and forty-nine cents. You know what? I might grab this one. All right, guys. So before we decide on the plan, so let's go check out the garden center and see what they got, because uh, chances are there's probably going to be something there as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So I see a Monstera. That's 21 bucks. Is it $21? No, $40. But it doesn't look so healthy right now. Uh, then over here, I think it's an alocasia. Yeah, I see an alocasia right here. It's an alocasia palette. So this is pretty cool. Look at the leaf. I don't think I've seen this alocasia as often. And uh, I don't know what this plan is. Alright guys, so I think I'm going to grab this Canova uh, Yellow. I think I like this one because this guy's got a bloom. And I don't think I've ever seen a bloom. It's $9. So, gives us a bit more room. I'm going to put this left to the side. Uh, I think it's going to be cool. So we're going to grab this. Oh man, these guys would be cool. This Oh, I love a sweet potato vine. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> I didn't see the sweet potato vine. So these guys, I had them last year outside and they're amazing okay so officially i think i failed this challenge uh, okay i'm gonna grab a couple of these guys uh i like the um the purple color on it all right guys so the total here is 21 dollars and 43 cents plus the 1898 that takes us to what is that uh just over by 41 cents 40 dollars and 41 cents so clearly i failed this challenge and I was hoping we'd actually pass it, but we were close, we were close. All right guys, so we just finished at Home Depot and got my kitchen lights. And then uh, with the plants, man, I thought I thought we were gonna be under the $40 before taxes. But uh, after those plants I got at Home Depot, it, the total ended up being like $40 and 41 cents. So just over by 41 cents. But you know what, at the end of the day, I think that was pretty good. Uh, I didn't go too much over it. And uh, yeah, and I ended up getting a lot of plants, not only for the indoors, but also for the outdoors. So I thought it was pretty good. I, you know what, we definitely would have failed this because we're not gonna stop by Walmart, which I thought we would, but uh, I ended up getting what I needed here as well too at Home Depot, uh, my laundry detergent and whatnot. So uh, we're just gonna head home and then uh, set up the shelf. And then I'll talk to you guys about my process on the uh, Marble Queen Pothos and how we're gonna treat that uh, because obviously there's some spider webs on it and uh, uh, most likely there's spider mites on it. So uh, let's go. shopping challenge at Ikea and Home Depot and all together we have about seven plants uh, nine if you count the cacti set individually and both for the outdoors and indoor space and we spent a total of $40.41 even though we're 41 cents over our goal and target of the $40 before taxes and this is technically a fail in terms of the challenge I still think it was quite successful because you know when I look at some of these plants I kind of wish I got two of them like this yellow canova Ta-da! I mean when I look at this guy's leaves and that pinstripe uh, vertical lines it's got going on plus it's got this bloom that's about to come I kind of wish I had two of them because I do have two empty planters outside and I want to plant this outdoors obviously and then around it I want to plant these sweet potato vines that you guys see here 
and I've owned sweet potato vines last summer as well and these guys grow really fast so I think that would look really cool as a set in a planter so I kind of wish I got two of them but you know what it's okay I'm okay with this one for now because I think these guys can grow pretty big as well and then for our indoor space we got the so it's a succulent I don't know the exact name of this succulent if you guys do comment below but what I was attracted to with this particular one is the way the leaves are it has this like nice uh, wavy shape to it so I thought that was pretty cool and uh, yeah so you know another succulent to my collection I don't have many I also don't have many cacti which is the set we got from Ikea look how cute and adorable these guys are it already came in its own planter and the more I look at these guys the more I'm asking myself why don't I have a lot more cacti in my collection because these guys look pretty cool especially this one look at its like red orange uh, you know fiery tips on its needles I thought that's pretty cool and uh, these ones as well too uh, really cool looking so I'm definitely excited to have these guys in my collection like I said I don't have any cacti but maybe this is a beginning to another uh, obsession <laughs> so, so the last plant we got is that Marble Queen Pothos and I was attracted to it because of this white foliage that you guys see here in white variegation and typically it's usually the yellow one so I'm not sure how long this is gonna stay white it might turn and revert back to yellow but I think I'm gonna put it up really close to the light to make sure and see if it can sustain this variegation but more importantly what we saw with this Marble Queen Pothos because I really like that white variegation and I know I shouldn't take home a plant that has pests but sometimes it happens this has webbing that you guys see there and uh, so that tells me this has spider mites so what I want to do with this particular plant and any plant that you kind of bring home that you think is a bit infested with any pest is you want to quarantine them right away so I'm gonna have this guy in the bathroom and what I want to do next is remove all the soil as much as I can and try and get it like bare root and then what I want to do next is wash this guy down really really well with warm water using either a high pressure spray or obviously just run it under uh, running water and you want to just make sure everything's kind of like washed off the roots the leaves all of that and then what I want to do next is spray this with like an all-purpose uh, insecticide spray I use this like botanical uh, spray by uh, Dr. Doom uh, specifically targeting you know spider mites aphids and even um, um, thrips so I want to spray you know all the leaves all the roots you know both top and bottom of the leaves and then what I want to do next is kind of just put this in a plastic bag for uh, about 24 hours so it may seem a little too much for like a four inch little pothos for only spider mites but I don't want to risk it in case he's got other pests going on so oftentimes they're very hard to spot but uh, yeah so we're gonna leave him here for 24 hours and then uh, you know after that we're gonna wash him again with water and then spray him down again and then uh, obviously plant it in um, uh, fresh soils and then just keep an eye on it monitor I'm probably gonna keep this guy away from the rest of the plant still I just want to make sure it doesn't spread uh, but for the most part you know spider mites are fairly easy to kind of get rid of you really do just have to remove any of the uh, leaves that's got spider mites on it or like really wash it down thoroughly and then uh, use kind of like insecticide soap to uh, kill anything that's already there but for the most part just even washing it down really well uh, will get rid of the spider mites so uh, yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed this little vlog and houseplant shopping challenge and uh, yeah I'm curious to know what you guys think other than that hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of your week and we'll see you guys soon peace it makes sense. No, nothing makes sense anymore